Adelaide United have been quite busy in the off season. They had a really poor end to last season, which board instability, coaching, walkouts, um, a lot of rumour and innuendo around the club. I think there's a lot of excitement around uh, the appointment of uh, Josip Gombau, who apparently used to be a goalkeeping coach at Barcelona. He's done well in Hong Kong. It'll be qu the questions remain whether he actually will fit into the A League and how he will adapt to the, the tactical trends in the A-League, I suppose. He's a Spanish coach, which is a little bit different in the A-League. We've got mainly Australian coaches now. There's been a real Australian turn in the coaching ranks. Um, so I think there's a genuine excitement to see what he can do. Whether or not he can replicate you know, a Barcelona style of football remains to be seen. I have my reservations as to whether or not they can do that. They might start to play really well towards the end of the season, but educating a whole new crop of players in Tiki Taka I think will take quite a while. Their ninth season was pretty bad. They started it really well with John Cosmina at the helm. He walked out halfway through um, citing boardroom instability and rumours in the corridors. Um, that was never really conclusively proved but it hurt the club really badly and they finished the, the last season terribly. Um, this season uh, they've signed quite well in the off-season. They've signed a new coach and he's brought with him two Spanish players. Hello, the Light United fans. My name is Sergio Tirio. And I am Isar Sanchez. Tirio is an attacking player, and Sanchez is more of a holding midfielder. I love one direction, and one to see the Adelaide. Adelaide United fans are some of the best in the competition. They've had to deal with a lot, especially over the last few years. They've had to deal with their own coaches calling their team the Pissant Club and the Pissant Town. They really deserve a good season, especially as it is their 10th anniversary.